Nigel, a lot of engineers are familiar with your very popular CNC bed mills and your smaller vertical machining centres and lathes, of course, but, but they might not know that you offer this big uh, solution as well on, on the milling side. Maybe you could talk us through the 2010 and the 3010 models that you offer here at XYZ. Yeah, we've had the 2010 and 3010 for a few years now. We've sold quite a few of them. Um, we keep them in stock if we can. Uh, when we sell one, we order another one and they take about three or four months for delivery. Um, this is a 2010 that we've got in stock. Uh, a 3010 went out of the factory a couple of weeks ago, so that was good news. Um, this is a two metre machine by one metre in Y. And, and do you think with this being two metre in the X and, and that big one metre in the Y axis, the reason that people do buy them is because of either the X or the Y or both? Because it's, it's not often you see one metre in the Y axis. Yeah, I think, it, I think we sell a lot of these because of the Y axis. Um, it does make the machine a lot heavier. Um, this is a really robust machine with six box slideways. And um, yeah, I think they buy it for the Y. And that, well, and that's, that was going to be my next question actually, because you can build a big machine, but sometimes people don't maybe necessarily focus on them being heavy duty too. They go for you know dynamic high speeds. Um, this isn't slow, but it is very big, industrially heavy, isn't it? Yeah, this uh, this is selling to heavy engineering companies or people doing mold tools where the, where it's a hell of a block of steel on there. Um, really don't know the end applications. There's a mass of them. And I suppose you could either use it for those bigger, heavier parts or lots of smaller components as well to keep the spindle to keep the spindle running so you don't have to keep going in and out of the machine. Yeah, subcontract engineering companies will put on that machine whatever they can get on there. Usually they buy it with the intention of a big job, but you do see them with a lot of small jobs on there. Mm. Um, this machine's in stock, so is, uh, or you say a 3010 has just gone out, but like you say, they're regularly coming through here at XYZ, yep. so if there's a need for a bigger machine with that bigger Y axis or X, you'd be able to offer it pretty quickly. We should be able to, it could be stock or it could be a few months away. Um, the, the Siebel scheme and the bounce back loans have been a big reason that people have been looking to invest recently. Um, would you, would you uh, agree that, that is, this is a good opportunity for someone maybe to take that leap into uh, buying a new machine? Well, the bounce back loans have been really popular with people for our um, regular machines. The big, bigger machines like this and our five axis, they have been sold to a lot of people on the C bills. And I notice here you've got the Siemens control on this machine. Is this the only one you offer on this size? Yeah, we only offer the Siemens on this, on this machine. And with these machines, do they come um, you know, pretty geared up? There's plenty of options. You're going to need to get Swarf out of this, for example. Does it come with a conveyor? through spindle coolant, all of those elements? Through spindle coolant's an option, the um, probing's an option, but the swarf conveyor and bin is a standard feature. Okay, good stuff. So they have it, big vertical machining centres available here from XYZ and currently in stock.